Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Oke Wumi. For those of you who are watching my video for the first time, and in today's video, I will be doing my first video on this series tour the mainland with me, guys. It's gonna be fun. I are going to our very first location of the year, and it's the very first video on the tour with me on the mainland series. I'm so excited and as you can see I'm sure you are seeing one shirt you are like who is that person following you but don't worry when we get to the location I'm going to introduce you to who I have with me on the first video of tour with me on the mainland see you guys you have to watch this video to the end to know the venue it's gonna be lit It's actually so nice, to be honest. So guys, we're here. Our first location on touring the mainland with me is Essence by the Great Ikeja. And if you saw the first clip, um, they were fixing the road and the drainage system right in front of the restaurant. So I had to get in through the assistance of one of the staff. Well, Sha, I'm going to be taking you... Um, I'm going to be giving you a review of this place, the aesthetics, the food, the drinks, and the customer service. So let's go in. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Well, obviously, you're fine. What's like your first impression of this place? Like when you just got in, what's your first impression? Okay, coming to the restaurant or like the entrance. Coming into it from the entrance to this place, what's your first impression? Well, I feel like it's actually like it's chic. It's just like small, it's very private or you know, some intimate, whatever, maybe a date or something. It's actually going to be nice for your date. So you should bring your partner here, but then after we review the food the food. <laughs> So now that you've met Eniola, it's time to order something to eat. So um, this is me trying to order like a starter um, so that we can just at least have something in our stomach before we begin the tour. So going through the menu, I think that they're quite affordable. The starters and sides are within the range of 1, 1k to 5k. Their main menu is within the range of 7k upwards and their drinks are like 3,500 upwards and their water is quite cheap. Things that they really have amazing, amazing food. I've not tasted it but like they look nice. They look like something I would like to explore. I like their sides. I like what they have here for sides and starters, our main menu. So we're going to first start with the sides. I ordered um, yam fries and mozzarella sticks for for sides and starters and then for my main menu i ordered i've not ordered but i'm going to order seafood pasta so we're going to add any lot too we're having two different things so that we have diverse opinions and <laughs> and so yeah basically that's what i'm ordering and while we're waiting for our order i think i would like to like explore take pictures and then maybe make a, an all-round video so what are you going to order for okay because i have a basic taste for it i'm going for the french fries okay. and also the mozzarella sticks okay yes and then for the main dish i'm going for the chicken pesto pasta because yeah, i'm actually really scared to explore food <laughs> So this has been going out of my comfort zone because we missing that shit, you know, go for something I normally would not go for. Right? I just received my order. This is the starters, yam chips and sauce and the chicken mozzarella. Yeah, with deep sauce and then french fries and ketchup and a bottle of water. So, um, I ordered for yam fries and chicken mozzarella for starters, and so far, so good. I like the yam, the sweet, it's fried properly, but then the sauce is spicy, but I'm not feeling sweetness. 
with the spicy. This is just spicy. I like spicy, but it's not sweet, sweet. But yes. How are you enjoying I'm your your sides? What did you order for? So I ordered for French fries, and this is the ketchup. So so far, it's actually, it's actually not bad. I mean, I I prefer like a little bit of salt. But aside from that, it's actually it's really nice. But why were you eating my yam? <laughs> <laughs> it tastes so good. The yam tastes so good, actually. So guys, do you know that I swapped my my my, my fries with any other? Because I think I prefer the French fries to the yam. Mm -hmm. So I gave another my yam. And now I'm eating this fries. I actually really like the yam. The yam is beautiful. It's perfect. Like I said, two people like we have different tastes, and that's why. Okay, how am I supposed to eat it? Do you really like it? Actually, it is really nice. I'm, I'm impressed, to be honest. I am. So it's crunchy. I think it's the right amount of crunchy. Enjoy your sides and starters. Um, yes, I did. But then the deep, because it's. And the other said he loved this thing, and I left the, I left it for him to finish. It was not much. So, how are you, Anila? I'm fine. Actually, not that I don't like. Actually, really like it. But then, if I should have more of it, I'm not sure if I'll be able to eat. <laughs> yes, and yeah. are you happy to be there? Oh yes, I'm quite happy to spend time with my beautiful woman. <laughs> so let's just get to know you a bit. I mean, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Why we're we waiting for our main dish? Okay. Um. What is there to talk about? I'm just a free being, so to say. Mm -hmm. I'm studying psychology, obviously. And for now, that's actually what I'm focusing on. I'm not really like very good at multitasking, so I'm just choosing to focus on school for now. And then after school, out, you know, spread my wings and do other things. So, and then, like, what would you say your life mantra is? Your mantra, like, what keeps you doing this thing, this life thing? Um, I say generally, I believe in karma. <laughs> <laughs> generally, I believe in karma. So, I'm usually very unbothered because I feel like if you're a good person and you put out good and positive energy into the universe, you're going to get good and positive energy back. So, basically, what goes around comes around. But yeah, sometimes it doesn't always work like that. But I yeah. try to stay as positive as possible. I'm mean, like, okay. I mean, on a scale of ten, I'm actually like six on the on the good person scale. So <laughs> <laughs> I think I should do enough for the universe to favor me. So, okay. Oh, and you like graced our commercial break so well. <laughs> I love it. Anyways, thank you for coming today with me. I appreciate. It. You're welcome. And Anytime. take your mozzarella <laughs> with you. <laughs> So my drink just came in, even though I didn't expect it to come earlier than the main dish. But I ordered for Cinderella. 
And it's giving me the Cinderella vibes. Period. How does it taste like? And I can't. It, it tastes like a mixed fruit. It, there's this taste I'm tasting, mm -hmm. but I, can't, I don't know the fruit. <laughs> I can't remember. It's not a very popular fruit. It's not something everybody takes like regularly. Mm -hmm. It's guava. I don't know. Mono. Yes. But that you really bread, like it. I love it. I like it because when I usually go to a restaurant, I'm always taking to one particular drink. Either I'm taking pina colada or Chapman. But today I just decided to explore. And I mean, this is one of the good things about exploring. The mozzarella was not the best. <laughs> <laughs> I can never get over the mozzarella. Anyway, I see the mozzarella was nice. It was really nice. But I love the drink. What did I order for? I think I changed my order. No, no, you, you still got this. Oh, you no, changed your order. No, I changed it order. to chicken bobo something. No, 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 that was not what you changed. Bobo it something. I know it's bobo something. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the name, but I'll make sure I ask you. First bite of a pasta. <laughs> God, I'm scared. Yeah, probably. Like she's scared. Well, it looks good. It does look good. Mm. Mm. Does it taste good? Mm. Mm. I love it. You do. Mm. Mm. Whatever this is. Even with the prawn. You need to try it. I like it. Wow. What? Yeah, I like it. Why did it take you one hour? <laughs> I was trying to, I was trying to feel the taste and actually not bad. I think more spicy though, but then it's spicy enough. And I'll excuse the green color. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> we have finished eating. Not like I finished. <laughs> I told them to help me pack it. Me, I enjoyed my own. I, I'm going to get the name of the meal. I forgot it because I changed. I actually ordered wanted seafood pasta, but I changed my order because the waiter recommended something nice for me. And I really like it. It's just that I don't know whether it's because we had starters from the beginning, but I'm full. I feel very full. I can't run. I just ate like a few spoons and I was full, so I just told them to pack it from because I like it. Surprisingly, I'm not a very I don't like creamy pasta and stuff. I'm used to my usual spag and stew or jollof spag, <laughs> not cream. Pasta bolognese. But this one had cream and it was very spicy. I liked it and I liked the shredded chicken in it. It made it awesome. Like the and the prawn, juicy, juicy compared to the one I had at. Let me not call that restaurant. <laughs> Let's hear from you. How is your wonderful pet? Pe what did you order for? I have no idea what name it was. I said earlier. I don't trust anything green. Continue. I don't trust anything green, honestly. But like when I had the first bite, it um, actually beat my expectation because I was honestly scared to have it in the first place. But two or three bites in, not really creamy, and you know I decided to feel somehow I wasn't feeling the vibe. The vibe was going down so fast. Not like it doesn't taste nice it does taste nice but you know not just to my satisfaction like for me is i am so used to the normal pasta and still all like to love spaghetti or jollof rice anything basic but this is totally out of my taste palette i've been screaming it since we told me to explore but i love the chicken i love the shredded chicken in it shredded chicken actually tastes really nice and it's spicy enough this is because well, I'm full. Would you advise to place this type of order? Someone that likes what? So if you're someone that likes, you know, creamy pasta, it is actually nice. It's creamy, very creamy. Too much creamy, you actually take some to your house. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really nice, but just know what to add. Okay, and you have to kindly finish your food. <laughs> I am full. <laughs> Something really weird just happened right now. So you know, I had a taste of Umi's food, and she did not have a taste of mine until now. So after my review, she was really scared to taste it. And then, <laughs> and then when she eventually took a bite, she legit had goosebumps. Okay. <laughs> ah, she was in shock. It's not me. 
<laughs> oh, like it was really I'd nice. I'd stick to my chicken potori. It, it was really nice, to be honest. It was nice, but it's just not something I would go for. So that was all we ordered, and then we got our bill. So apparently, what I ordered for was chef's bobo tea <laughs> or bobo tie and i was saying chicken but we could god i was just saying nonsense but my friend any other for chicken pesto pasta so um in case you want to go and order chicken pesto pasta cost seven thousand naira. so guys we're done here we're about to leave and we just got our bill and something surprising happened they charged us extra two thousand five hundred and they put service charge and i'm confused I, I asked them what is happening they said it is vat and it's 10 percent of the actual amount so we our actual bill was twenty five thousand naira, and they charged 10 percent of twenty five thousand naira. so we have to pay a service charge of 2500 so guys if you're coming here and you're calculating your but if you don't want to wash plates <laughs> and wash plates you better hold your extra 10 percent for whatever you are actually buying because it took us on our way and now we might have to trek home <laughs> <laughs> They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a f-